Hi guys, I'm Sean and this is Sean Reacts. Welcome to my channel. Guys, please take a moment to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And guys, remember to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, okay? All right, guys, so the video we're gonna be doing today is very special because it's gonna be a full album review. I know we did one for Dio um, and we did watch a video and we did the lyrics, but this time I'm just gonna do the album. It's for EXO and I think it's their very first album. It's the Kiss version of the XOXO album. So hopefully I got the right one. I'm really looking forward to hearing this album and hearing everything um, you know, you know, more clearly and not having um, any type of storyline or anything like that to try and follow just to just listen to the music in its purest form so um yeah i hope you guys will join me on this ride to listening to my very first full exo um album okay so i'm not doing the lyrics with it i'm not gonna do any type of videos or anything like that with it i just want to hear the album on its own okay all right so uh let's get straight into it
wolf. I like all the sounds and everything. Editing and adding pieces Hold on, y'all. Let me try to quick and easy. mute this. I like all of the sounds and everything. I like the fact that it had its, uh, you know, fast moments, but it also had some slow parts in there too to kind of bring it down a little bit. But the, you know, singing was A1 on this one. It was a good showcase of their vocals. So, uh, yeah, this would have definitely had, uh, would have definitely got my attention. Okay, let's turn it back up. And this is, oh, this baby don't cry. Mm. <laughs> I love this song already. Mm. I'm not going to try to guess who was who. If I think I know, I might say it, but... Yes. I'd have been an Insta fan on this one, y'all. I gotta be honest about it. Cause this song right here is just mm. Like emotional touching song too. That's one of my favorite parts. And I know that's yo. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, but it sounds like Dio. They have it. Oh, I can just imagine how everybody felt about this song originally. Mm. He's a rap superstar right here, y'all. Mm. He sounds so good. Oh, I love it. Wow. Y'all hear those damn ad lips? Okay. the beginning of this one.
Oh, I like this one. Yes. Mm -mm. Yes, I like this. <laughs> Let me turn it up a little bit, y'all. This is how you know music is universal because I don't know what the hell they're saying, but I love it. Yes. This is good. <laughs> oh. I love that little kind of underwater sound in here, building up. <laughs> that was nice. The damn ad libs, boy, that was nice. I 
see like a kind of uplifting song, you know? Damn vocals. Yes! Oh my God! Wow. Oh, hit me with the hoo hoos again. Mm. That takes it to a whole other level for me. Damn. Y'all, they making it hard. Oh my goodness. Oh, they making it so damn hard. Hmm. Oh, okay. I don't know. I oh, don't know. Don't go and black pearl. Both beautiful songs. I don't know which one of them is on top. Cause damn, if they ain't both fantastic. I think black pearl might edge a little bit, but I don't know them damn who who's honey. And this is let out the beast. the beast okay i might let off the damn beast that's a good one too that's a more upbeat fast tempo one but i like that one i like that one a whole damn lot 
And this one is 365. This would kind of remind me of Love Scenario. I know it came before, but it does. Well, not, like I said, the whole thing, but just that beginning. called Heart Attack by American Artist. Hey. Mm. This one 
it got that little damn flow to it, y'all. Oh, I love the cadence. I like that. That sounds like some hip hop right there. Mm, I love it. Okay, I got this. This one might be. I think this one above. Um, let out the beast. Mmm. I think that's my number one. That's my number two. That's my number three. Mmm. That's my number four. All these gonna be damn switched up. <laughs> By the time it's over, at the rate they going, y'all. That was fantastic. I love that song. I said, I feel like I might have heard that one already. First thing you want other drivers to notice, unnoticeable. But I don't know. What's next? Peter Pan. Oh, Yeah, I think I like this one a little better than 365. Yeah, I like Peter Pan. Mm. Yes. This one is a vibe. melodic tone to their voice for this one and I really like it they all kind of matching each other um tone yeah that definitely low get kind of you know flowy sound One of them songs that's just a vibe. It puts you in a good, you know, mood. You just can chill to this one. Just to it in the car. Just to it while you're cleaning it up. Mmm. I love that little kind of time. <laughs> you know? Oh. It sounds so good. I love the rap contrasting with the vocals right there. Mm. Ooh, they got them layered on top of each other. I love it. Mm. 
I like how he make his voice change a little bit, you know. Oh, I just feel like this song might be an underrated song right here that needs more attention. This has to be a B-side song, because you know I'm saying? So I always fall in love with them damn b song. Yeah, this is my style right here. I love it. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. They killing me with all these good songs. This one is called Baby. whole album y'all damn Especially for it to be their, if this is their debut, 
just any time in that early part of their career, they they sounding like, oh my god, oh, my lady. Okay, I already love it. Okay, just the way he opened it up. I've heard this one. I know I have. Yes, I love this one. I think this Dio. The rap fits very well in here. Oh, I like them vocals. Oh, they satisfying me in so many different ways with this song, y'all. Because it's got that little finger snapping little kind of, you know, groove to it. But then they hit them down little sweet notes to me. Then they got the little melodic rap. They covering all the bases. Oh, if that's somebody else, I'm, I'm going to slap the hell out of myself. Oh, I love that. I love my lady. This one say wolf. First one was soft, but it was kind of a fast. Oop. No, I sound like this ain't a little beat. Mm -mm. Hey. I like this. I like this. I like the other one too. The uh, the the rapping for this one is what gets me the most. I don't know if they got any subtle changes in here. 
Uh, I think Dio voice is the most recognizable to me. Sometimes I can hear them make y'all mixed up when they're hitting certain notes. Chin, I can recognize really easy too, I think. Hi. And Shuman, I get on. Um, I can't really pick them up all the time. And now I know it's other people in here too. It's really throwing me off. And Suho, I can pick up sometimes easily. Because he got that operatic type voice to me. He can get into that pocket like nobody else in the group can. Yeah. Sounds so sort of like high, but I can't tell. I know who the high note is. <laughs> I think some of these times I didn't thought it was somebody else to be uh, super. That was a nice harmony. It's a Now the damn and Lil's be kicking butt in the background. You hear me? I mean, that's not me, yo. <laughs> wow. All right, guys. Dang. This album was fire. Um, this is their, you know, one of their first, it may be their first album. I'm just not sure anymore because of the date. Um, that it said on the little thing it was giving me june 3rd 2013 and this might have been their first studio album and they had other music that came before it like maybe some singles maybe a mini album i don't know y'all have to let me know but um this was absolutely fantastic they are so talented i already knew that i i wanted to see where they were starting from and and apparent to me they started off fantastic. You know, they had the vocals, they had the rapping, they had all the skills were there from the beginning and they just honed it and made it even better to get to where they are now. But there was no, you know, growth <laughs> period where they went from barely being able to do anything to getting to the point where they were better than then finally getting it and then you know what i mean there was none of that they seem to have had it from the beginning and that's very impressive and like i said before um you know some of these these um companies they have a really good eye for uh you know picking great artists and i think that um their company i want to say their company is is it sm or is it jyp i honestly don't remember I want to say it's SM though, but I honestly don't remember. So I'm not even going to worry about it. I'm just going to say that they, they got some really good guys together, um, to lay down those vocals. They did a fantastic job of, uh, figuring out, you know, who they wanted to put on this team and it turned out absolutely wonderful. Um, I enjoyed this whole entire, um, album. I guess if I had to say my favorite with probably be baby don't cry and then i would definitely say black pearl then maybe i don't know between don't go and uh heart attack and my lady <laughs> they they are always so good and then i even like the faster ones with um uh i can't remember i think it was was it 
Peter Pan. I think Peter Pan was the one that really got me. Um, that song was great. Peter Pan was great. And then all of them were great songs. But I'm just saying the ones that really stuck out to me like a sore thumb, you know, it's being just fantastic. But, um, yeah, that's going to do it for this reaction, guys. I hope y'all enjoy um, this video. I am putting this on the Patreon um, first, and then we'll see if it'll go to um, YouTube. This is a special treat for the Patreon. I really appreciate y'all so, so much. And um, I can't wait to get some more, you know, EXO under my belt, okay? All right, so y'all take care of yourselves. Take care of each other, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.